All right, greetings YouTube and fellow cigar box guitar enthusiasts. Del Puckett here with a four string ukulele. My wife picked this up at a garage sale for $15. And so anyhow, so I picked it up and very first thing I noticed is that the frets stick out of the top and the bottom of this thing. If you take your finger and kind of pinch the neck here and go up and down, you can feel the, the frets spiking out at the end. So what happens is, the wood, the neck wood, shrinks, and of course the frets just stick out of the top of mine. There's nothing more frustrating than, me, for me, anyhow, feeling up and down the frets. When you're playing, that's all you can just, just feel the frets end sticking out here. It's, it, it's really annoying. So this is what I do here. I get like a file. Any kind of a file will work. Obviously you want it to be, you know, the, the grooves of it to be smooth enough where you can actually file again. And I, what I do is I just kind of angle it on here, you know, so I'm not, um, I'm not going to destroy it here, but I, but it's angled so enough to sufficiently grab some of that metal of the frets, right? And I just sand it down or file it down. And um, am I worried about scarring this thing here? Not at all. If I, if I do end up getting down to the wood, I'll just hit it with a, a Sharpie or something, right? Because again, what's more important, the looks or how it plays? And you can see, right, that I'm, I'm taking off some of that material there. You know, you don't want to get, up here it doesn't really matter so much because your your frets aren't, your hands aren't going to be up here, but my OCD won't allow me to not get it. So, oh yeah, I can already feel that better already. So much better. Yeah, and I can even feel it as I'm taking the, the file across it. And I'm not grinding grinding on the metal anymore. Yep. And I'm definitely taking off some of the coat. And that's okay. So the top and the bottom. I'm going to get the bottom as well. Yeah, you can hear that, right? And you can tell right away as soon as you can um, yeah see over here it's it's not really sticking out as much but over here it really was so um, a little bit more now I normally do this while I'm building the guitar so for me it's not that big of a deal might be a little intimidating to do this to a real expensive guitar and I could totally understand if you're not comfortable but um, if you want to practice first go get, find yourself a cheapie practice on that now of course at the very end you can get yourself some some fine grit sandpaper you don't have to do this you just want to make it really like smooth. You can do that. And again, I'm not being very careful at all. I don't have any sentimental value in this guitar at all. It's just kind of setting it up just to just to have a beater. Again, for 15 bucks, what the heck, man? Four strings or one string too many.